Hi, for this video we're going to look at um, simple interest and simple interest is something that you um, only pay interest for the amount borrowed for the time period that you borrowed it for. Um, compound interest is used more often where you pay interest on the interest. Um, but if you do have something involving simple interest, this is how you would solve it. So for this situation, what we have is suppose Sarah borrows $1,500 for 18 months at a simple interest rate of 6% per year. How much will she pay in interest and what is the total amount that she will pay back? So looking at this, the first thing that we need to know is the formula to find simple interest. And simple interest is found by taking the principal times the rate times the time. And so the P represents principal, which is just your starting amount. The rate has to be as a decimal. So what you would do if you don't know how to convert it, you would take the rate or the percentage and divide it by 100, and that would give you your R. And T is always the time in years. So there's a couple things that we have to do in order to use this formula. The first is um, the P would be 1,500. The rate, we would take the 6 and divide it by 100, which would give us 0 0.06. And our time, we have to convert it to years. Right now, we have 18 months. So what we would have to do is we would have to convert it to years. And we know that for one year, there are 12 months. So this would get rid of the unit of months, so I would just do 18 divided by 12, which is 1.5. So when you are using this formula, time always has to be in years, your rate always has to be as a decimal, and the principal is just your starting amount. So the first thing that we would do is just find the interest. So we would take and just plug in our values in for each of our letters. So 1500 would go first, times 0.06 times 1.5 and we would just simply multiply this out and this gives us $135. Okay, um, so the interest, so the total interest paid or total interest is $135. This is not the amount paid back, so to answer the second question um, the second question is, what is the amount paid back? And to get this, what we would have to do is just take the principal plus our interest. So we would take the 1500 and we would add the interest to it. And we would see that she pays back a total of $1,635. So she borrowed 1500 at an interest rate of 6% for one and a half years. And so she ends up paying back $1,635. Um, so it's always best to write this as a sentence. So um, we can say that Sarah will pay a total of $1,635. $635 for the loan. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or there are some topics that you need me to cover that you don't see that I have yet, just please let me know.